In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve linear systems using Gaussian elimination with back substitution. The question reads, use matrices to solve the system. As you can see, we have a system of three equations and three unknowns. The unknowns are x, y, and z. The first thing that you have to do here is write this as an augmented matrix. And an augmented matrix is simply a matrix that represents the leading coefficients and the constants of the equations. Our augmented equation will be 3 by 4, and it will look like this. 2, 1, 2, and 18. 1, negative 1, 2, and 9. 1, 2, negative 1, and 6. Notice that these numbers correspond to the leading coefficients and the 18 as the constant. The same thing with the other two. Now that we have our augmented matrix, what we want to do is use matrix row operations to simplify the matrix to a row equivalent matrix in a row echelon form, which means you have ones down the main diagonal from the upper left to the lower right, and zeros below the ones in the first and second columns. Let me show you what I mean. So we want to make this two so that it's a one. And one way we can do that is to switch row one with row two. So this is row one, row two, and row three row 2 and row 1 will be switched. So let's document that by writing row 2 to row 1. By doing this, your matrix should look like this. The next thing that I'll do is replace row 2 by multiplying row 1 by negative 2 and adding it to row 2. Let's document that. So I'll multiply row 1 by negative 2 and add it to row 2 and that will replace what's currently as row two. Multiplying this by negative two, we end up with negative two. This becomes positive two. This becomes negative four and negative 18. Now, negative two plus two is equal to zero. Two plus one is three. Negative four plus two is negative two. And minus 18 plus 18 is zero. Therefore, our brand new matrix should look like this. As you can see now, row two starts with a zero. We want to do the same thing for this one. We want to make it into a zero. And to do that, we can replace row three by subtracting row one with row three. And to document that, I'll write down row one minus row three. Whatever those are equal to will replace the bottom. Starting with the first column, one minus one is equal to zero. Negative one minus two is negative three. Two minus minus one is positive three. And nine minus six is positive three. Therefore, your matrix should now look like this. The next thing that I'll do to make this three into a one is multiply the whole row by a third. So row two gets multiplied by a factor of one over three. That being said, this becomes a one, this becomes negative two over three, and this remains zero. We're almost there. What we have to do next is get rid of this negative three. And we can do that by multiplying all of row two by positive three, and then adding it to row three. So let's write that down. Row two gets multiplied by positive three, and we add it to row three, and that will replace row three. So multiplying this by three remains zero. Multiplying this by three gives us positive three. Multiplying this by three gives us negative two, and this remains as zero. Now, we add three and negative three, that is equal to zero, exactly what we want. Negative two plus three is positive one, and zero plus three is three. So your matrix should look like this. One, negative one, two, and nine. Row one stays the way it is. Zero, one, negative two over three, and zero. Remember, we're looking at the orange numbers. And finally, zero, zero, one, and three. Now that we have ones in the main diagonal, we can easily find out what x, y, and z is by doing some back substitution. 
First and foremost, this part right here tells us that z is equal to 3. This row tells us that y plus negative 2 over 3, z is equal to 0. By substituting 3 into here, we end up with y minus 2 is equal to 0. And solving for y is easy. This gives us positive 2. This is what is referred to as back substitution. We're finding out what z is, and then substituting back into another equation. And subsequently, now that we found 2 and 3, we can substitute these into the first equation, which is x minus y plus 2z is equal to 9. I'll take this and replace this z with it. This 2 into the y. We have x minus 2 plus 2 times 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, we have 9 minus 6 plus 2, and that should give us our x. 3 plus 2 is 5. Therefore, our final answer is 5, 2, and positive 3. And there you have it. That is how to solve linear systems using Gaussian elimination with back substitution.